Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Good. Oh, good. All right. Everyone seems to have a good amount of energy. Um, I myself am pretty exhausted. <laughs> it's been a busy week. I also was like looking into what my darn talk for today was going to be. So I had kind of an idea throughout the week and coming up with what I was going to say. And then uh, I was kind of talking to one of the people here at the office about it. And they were like, yeah, that's not appropriate. So, <laughs> so last night I was struggling to come up with something. And uh, with uh, the help of my lovely wife, uh, she gives me great insight into you know what would be good so i'm scrambling today uh, hopefully all of you can help me out with this morning so we'll start with a powerpoint presentation <laughs> everyone loves powerpoint right now powerpoint's pretty boring but they're fun if you get to play a game so we'll start with the game and uh i have my trusty helper at the studio, he's been helping me a lot lately. Uh, if we could start the slideshow, the game is called Which Meal Is It? So since I started this PowerPoint about 15 minutes before service, there's not, not a lot of fun graphics, but hopefully the game itself is a lot of fun. Okay, we have the next slide. So, steak. What meal would it be? Oh yes, and raised. Very good. What is it? Breakfast? <laughs> oh, over here? Dinner, very good. Okay. Who, who thinks that it's dinner? Alright. Next slide. Dinner. Okay. Here's, here's the next one. Steak and eggs. Uh, Alright, go. There's a lot of people who are very excited. Just call it out. Slow eater, but we'll get to lunch. Alright, next one. Alright, how about muffins? Lunch, breakfast? Yeah. Okay, to, to the kids, I know you're supposed to raise your hands, but I don't care. You can yell at me. Lunch, snacks, snacks. Okay, I thought breakfast. Alright, how about. What if you have a muffin plus icing? <laughs> I believe, alright, that's called, it's called a cupcake. And it is? <laughs> it's there. Alright. What about deep fried dough? If you have dough, you can wipe it out. I was trying to kind of get people to 
push through these labels, because we, we love to put labels on things that we think that something should be breakfast, something should be lunch, something should be dinner. But when you really look at it, the things that we make all of these meals out of, it really isn't too different from another meal that we have. So if you have something like uh, you know, steak, and it's traditionally uh, a dinner food because we think, oh, you know, if it's uh, red meat, it's heavy, it's a big meal, it should be dinner, something hearty that we have at night. But you throw some eggs with it, and it becomes breakfast for some reason. <laughs> because you put eggs with anything, and it becomes breakfast. <laughs> But there's also places like uh, Denny's, IHOP, these 24-hour diners, and you can get breakfast all day. So if you wanted to, you can get breakfast for dinner, which is actually one of my favorite things to do. I love breakfast food, and it's good any time of the day, just like donuts. <laughs> Continuing with this idea that we have all of these rules that we have in our lives that uh, we grow up with, it starts to color the way that we view the world how we view the world, like uh, these different foods. We see something, we automatically decide what time of day is appropriate to eat it at. We have these other kind of hints or rules that guide our lives that come not just from people telling us things, but also from the experiences that we have. So going throughout life, if we have experiences like perhaps in school, if we come up with these different guides that, oh, if I have a test coming up later this week, if I start studying at the beginning of the week, then it will be easier for me to retain all the information and all the better tests. So that's one of these things that you pick up and you continue to use it throughout your life to hopefully be successful. It can also be applied to Dharma Talks. If you start early in the week, then it's easier. <laughs> uh, but we have uh, other things in our lives, like perhaps uh, one of the rules that is, I think, a pretty good one to follow that uh, I have come across is that you never want to go grocery shopping when you're hungry because then you'll come home with a bunch of different stuff that you do not need. <laughs> Same thing when you go into Target when you want one thing, you better be prepared to come out with a whole shopping cart full of things. You don't realize how many things you need until you start walking down those aisles. So we have these different rules, these different hints, these different things that guide us throughout our lives. And because of that, because of our own individual experiences, we start to view the world in a very certain way. And each person has their own individual way of looking at it. Through creating all of these things in their mind, we actually kind of live in our own world. Have you ever heard this term before, that, you know, living in their own world, or, I don't know, usually it's kind of used in like a bad way, where it's like, oh yeah, it's their world that we're just living in. But we all have this own worldview that each of us are uh, not necessarily stuck in, but we're very comfortable in. We like to see the world that way, and when we come across another person who has their own worldview, and it starts to differ from ours, there's a kind of conflict. When we see something one way, and another person sees something another way, oftentimes if it's something that we really hold on to, that we really hold dear, there could be some kind of disagreement. Uh, hopefully it doesn't escalate too far, but there is that kind of friction there. However, uh, as Jodo Shinshu Buddhists, as Buddhists in general, we realize that while there's all these guides that we have come up with throughout our life, there is another guide that can help us to hopefully live a life of uh, more, uh, more peace, more happiness, and less suffering. So looking into Buddhism, what it has to teach us about this idea of having a worldview is actually that there is something much larger than just what we have as an understanding. So Buddhism really pushes us to expand our world, to open up our views, and even more than that, try to put ourselves in someone else's world, to walk a mile in their shoes, to really see everything as they see it, to have that understanding of the experiences that they've had in their life. And when we're able to do that, then it really teaches us to open up our hearts. We're able to expand our compassion. We're able to feel true love and giving for someone because we're able to actually really understand them. It's very difficult to care for someone if you don't understand anything about their life, anything where they're coming from, the things that they've gone through. And it can be very difficult even more so when these experiences have colored their lives to turn them into someone who may not be that pleasant of a person. I think all of us might know some uh, cranky people, some people who uh, kind of have a bad mood or uh, they don't really seem like the happiest people. But it's up to us as individuals to understand that everyone has their own battles. Everyone has their own experiences going through life. And to realize that if we were put in that position, 
we might end up being just like that person. So I hope that uh, everyone continues to uh, try to go through their life uh, as individuals. They have, you have your own worldview, and everyone should absolutely uh, respect it. You should love the way that you had your experiences, love the way that you live your life, but at the same time, realize that there's many other people that have their own views, that it's uh, up to us to really try to look at them as individuals, look at them as people with their own experiences, try to expand our own hearts to include them and understand them so that we can live together more harmoniously. If you please join me in Russia. No, no, no. No, no, no.